So summer is around the corner and a lot of us soon will be going on vacation or at least planning to. But it seems to be impossible because you have a bearded dragon and no matter how bad you want to take it on the plane, you most likely will not be able to take it to the country that you're visiting. So what do you do? What well, you see, you came to the right place because I am a bearded dragon connoisseur. Hey yo, what wait. the? <laughs> well, hold on. This is that. Wait, does that mean like you eat eat things? Like, what does connoisseur mean? Connoisseur means an expert judge in matters of taste. Hey yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You know what? I'll roll with it. I'd be tasting bearded dragons here. That's that's how much of an expert I am. Man, it hasn't even been a minute yet, and I'm already I'm already making weird weird comments. You know what I mean, right? Like I I've been taking care of reptiles for a very long time, and when it comes to this topic of like, what do you do? Like I got a bearded dragon, but I want to go on vacation. What do I do? right so you come to the right place because i'm gonna be giving you guys five tips on what i do to basically take care of all of my reptiles while i'm gone on vacation because lately you know i've been taking care of myself a little bit more taking some time off from work and and just just vibing you know i just be vibing <laughs> Yeah, I just been you know lately. I've been taking some time off and actually planning on going on vacation I actually do plan on traveling to the States and visiting some of the expos out there as well So I'm kind of in that spot where I'm like what am I gonna do with all of this? Like all of my reptiles do I just leave them or anything? So I have a game plan and I'm gonna share it with you guys for me It's a little bit more strict because I have a lot more but for any of you guys out there who have just one bearded dragon I'm gonna give you guys my best tips on what exactly to do. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing I'd advise you to do is get cameras. Not only would you be able to see what your bearded dragon is up to, but in case something was to happen, you could take action. Like imagine someone was to kidnap your bearded dragon while you were gone. Uh-uh, I would respectfully, with respect of course, Remove them from this planet. I'm just saying. <laughs> but honestly, you know, having cameras is, is truly just the best thing. It gives you that extra bit of security, but also you could see what your bearded dragon is up to when you're far away. And with technology now, you could just see it on your phone. You could get notifications on your phone if something was to happen in your reptile room. But honestly, cameras are great. But if I had my bearded dragons in my bedroom still, I don't know how I would feel about getting cameras. You know what I mean? The last thing I need is some paranormal activity, things happening, and my camera picks it up when I'm sleeping. I don't need that in my life, okay? I would I would be gladly okay with not having cameras in my bedroom. But honestly, having cameras just pointing towards your bearded dragon's enclosure while you're gone is pretty good and with now just the affordable prices on cameras they're pretty cheap to purchase i think i picked mines up for about 150 dollars so just gives me that extra security when i'm gone now speaking about that extra security something that i've recently gotten for my reptile room and i highly recommend is this now you might be thinking what in the world is it is it like a device that you just like throw at a burglar like when they break into your reptile room although that would probably be a pretty cool thing to see no this right here is something called sensor push now even though i am not sponsored by the way sponsor me if you're watching this but even though i am not sponsored i really really recommend this and i don't see myself ever getting rid of it because it's such a great product. What it allows me to do is on the app that they have, I'm able to see different temperatures and different humidity levels in my reptile room anywhere in the world. So anywhere there's Wi-Fi or you could even use your data, um, it allows you to see the temperatures in your reptile room or in your reptile enclosure. So it's pretty solid. 
So you could purchase as many adapters that you like. I only have three. I have one in my reptile room, one in my reptile incubator, and one in my bearded dragon enclosure, just so I could have a clarity of what the temperatures are inside of the enclosures. But if the temperatures were to drop, and this is where it's so important and why I see the value in having this, is in case the temperatures did drop, let's say the power went out, then I would get a notification on my phone that something happened. And the same thing goes if the temperatures were to spike. Let's say something happened and there was just way too much heat inside of my reptile room. I would also get a notification telling me that it's way too hot. So just having that extra clarity of like, I could look on my phone and I could see the temperatures of my reptile room, my reptile enclosures and incubator just by a click of a button and on my phone, just gives me that extra clarity while I'm on vacation. So if you guys haven't already, go check out Sensor Push. I'm gonna try to get a sponsor. If not, you know, why don't you guys email them and be like, yo, go sponsor Lord of the Lion. They'll be like, who? Who's Lord the Lion? <laughs> but honestly, it's such a great product. I'd love to get you guys a promo code, but I, I guess I need to reach out. Or if we all reach out, imagine that we could get like free stuff. Like I'm just saying. <laughs> but honestly, it's such a great product. Regardless, if you guys really want something that you could look on your phone, go check it out. It's a little bit pricey, but it's a great investment. Now, even though there's great products out there that can help you track from afar, they don't clean or feed your reptiles. That's where a reptile nanny comes in. No, I'm not talking about that reptile nanny, even though, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire would make a killer reptile nanny. I'm just saying, rest in peace. But you really need to find someone that you can trust to take care of your reptiles and honestly that's where i find the hardest you know thing about going on vacation is finding someone i could trust with basically my babies you know this is this is my babies i i can't just here here go go take care of my reptiles do it how i do it like i i just i can't i need to be there doing it on my own i have my own routine that you know i do it and i love doing it as well so it's hard for me to find someone that I can trust, but you know, finding that right person that you could teach is always the best. For me, I could really trust my brothers when it comes to taking care of my animals. I could also trust family members and also friends that are in the reptile community. I really have a lot of trust in them, but if it was just some random person on Craigslist or on Kijiji, oh hell no, I, I just can't, I just can't. I, I really need to know you in order to bring you on and be like, hey, you know what? I trust you with the key to my heart. <laughs> okay it's not it's not that serious but it's pretty serious so finding that right person to take care of your animals is really important what i find because at the end of the day not many people may know everything about bearded dragons the important thing is to show them the ropes on how to take care of a bearded dragon so if you could bring them in maybe two times a week or even just once a week before you even go on vacation way months ahead and they could just learn based off what you're doing they could have some understanding on what you are doing and it's important that even when you go on vacation that you also have some sort of connection still so if you could have some sort of phone call or facetime them while they are taking care of your bearded dragon that is also a very good thing but finding someone is the most important thing and also the probably the most hardest thing about going on vacation now it's tough going on vacation when you own reptiles but time off and alone time is also very important so making plans around your animals is gonna require you to make some sort of sacrifices when i go on vacation i try not to leave my animals for way too long because at the end of the day i know that i chose to keep my reptiles so it's my responsibility a hundred percent when it comes to their care and if my bearded dragons or if my reptile require me to be here daily that is also my responsibility so before even purchasing a bearded dragon you should know that it does come with those things of like hey now you own basically a kid forever or for a very long time. So at the end of the day, you do want to take that into account before even getting another reptile or if you plan to that, hey, if I ever do want to go on vacation, 
could I take my bearded dragons or do I have someone that could take care of them when I'm gone? And if you don't, maybe, you know, take some time away from, you know, the decision of getting a bearded dragon right now. But you should definitely take that into account as well. But something that I do when I do go on vacation and someone is taking care of my reptiles, like a family member or friend, is that I feed a little bit more before going on vacation. And I also keep it spotless. Not only would this give your bearded dragon that fresh start that it needs, but also it'll give less work for the person taking care of your reptiles. They don't have to go and feed every single bearded dragon a whole bunch of crickets, especially if they're a little bit afraid of them. So you definitely want to make it a little bit easier for your reptile nanny when they do come and take care of your reptiles. Now, the last thing that I do before going on vacation is that I make a schedule and have everything written down for the person taking care of my reptiles to be able to follow them with ease now having a routine not only is it very important to keep things organized but something that i do and something that i use and it's such a great product that i basically you know another sponsor if you want to sponsor me <laughs> something that i use is an app called husbandry pro now husbandry pro is a great tracking keeping record app system whatever you want to call it it's a great app in where you could basically keep database based off everything that your reptile does so for me i track feeding i track brumations i even track light cycles with this app and you could just download it on your phone or even just go on the website on the computer it's such a great product that i use it for almost all of my reptiles and it's pretty cool and it makes you kind of look a little bit more professional because you have like a whole bunch of barcodes just printed out on each enclosure and you just go with your phone and you just scan it and it'll give you all the information of your reptiles so imagine like someone who doesn't know anything about keeping reptiles they could just go and scan that barcode and it'll give you all the information about that reptile and you could even write some notes in there as well so if you are looking into getting some professional tracking system when it comes to keeping database for your reptiles and animal needs download husbandry pro like i said not a sponsor unless you want to sponsor me i'm just saying if you're watching this hey sponsor me <laughs> but it's it's such a great product um i use it for all of my reptiles and i just keep a nice record and i'm gonna probably use it for life and i do believe they have a 30-day free trial and then from there i'm not sure what the, the subscription is i'm paying the one with like unlimited everything but for you guys who are just keeping one or two bearded dragons i think you guys get it for free so Go check it out. It's such a great product. Um, another sponsor that I would love to work with. <laughs> so, hey, maybe I will. Maybe like the next video is just promo codes. I'm just saying it'll be pretty cool. So hopefully this video helped out any of you out there who are planning on going on vacation. Sometimes it could be a little bit of a you know sacrifice that you have to do and cut your vacation short. That way you could come back for your animals but at the end of the day hopefully you guys do have fun if you are planning on going on vacation and check off you know some list of things that you need to do before going on vacation so if you get cameras if you get sensor push if you get husbandry pro if you get um a nice routine going on and a reptile nanny i think you're pretty solid of you know being okay with going on vacation and your bearded dragon and reptiles are being taken care of but there's so many other things that you might want to add into it so definitely plan ahead try not to stress so much about it for me i i don't like leaving my animals but sometimes i do want to have a little bit of a getaway and escape so vacation is a little bit you know sometimes needed so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did be sure to give it a thumbs up but with that being said, I'm Lord of Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in so my next goes. video. Here we go. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. Hit, hit. 
hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit. Oh, now you gotta hit that notification button, baby, for me. Why don't you hit that notification button for me, baby? Come on, Why don't you hit that notification button for me, baby? Right I said, why don't you hit that notification button for me, baby? Uh -huh. Gotta hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. Hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. You got.